Time now, 649. That familiar tune, Proud Mary, a well-known rendition from none other than Tina Turner. And a musical celebrating Turner is coming to Des Moines. Get excited. Tina, the Tina Turner musical is the inspiring journey of a woman who broke barriers, became the queen of rock and roll. Joining us this morning is Paris Lewis. She's part of the ensemble. Thank you for being with us today. It is so great to have you and talk about this on Firecast. You are a Brooklyn native. You've been incredible range from opera to pop music. Tell us about your background. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, like you said, I'm a Brooklyn native and I've been trained in classical music. So that was kind of like the beginnings of my journey, singing in choral ensembles and then starting out in operas uh, in New York City and kind of spanning from Florida to New York. Then I kind of found my way to musical theater. Uh, my first tour and first musical was honestly the Color Purple National Tour. So that was a big bang of a start. Yeah, how did um, Tina also Turner? Done oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh yeah, um, after the Color Purple, uh, I did Hairspray after the pandemic. And then I ended up at Tina. So that might've um, kind of answered what you were about to ask. How did I end up at Tina? Yeah. Um, I think segue from Hairspray the Musical, which is a big dancey, high energy musical to Tina. It was along the lines of preparing me to be ready to deliver this story. What are the things the audience can take away from this experience? Oh, goodness. Uh, so many things. Honestly, the joy and mm. the triumph that T Tina ends out with. Um, to me, that is the focus because we know so many of her struggles, right? And we know so many of her hard times um, in her relationship with her husband. But also, our story tells a lot of the beautiful, a lot of the beautiful outcomes of Tina's life, like her children, her relationships with her managers, and how she came out on top, finding love and also finding peace and success, and still being able to take her career back in her hands mm -hmm. and thriving. I love it. How long is the show going to be performing in Des Moines? We'll be in Des Moines for just a week, so uh, come see us. All right, we got to get folks to that ASAP. Uh, what was this like for you? You know, being inspired by her. What's this? What's this whole performance been like as your performance has gone to the next level? Oh, it's been um, a journey, honestly, much like Tina's life. Uh, starting out, it was a whirlwind of things. There were so many things happening on stage as well as like within our minds, right? For me as a performer, wanting to deliver an authentic story. But as we tell the story more, I was also able to lean into a lot more of like I said, the joy, but also the work that Tina did and looking at that and how it affects what we do in telling this story authentically every night. I play Tina's sister, so there's a lot of authenticity that I try to bring to the stage with her high energy and supportive spirit that she has for Tina. But I also understudy Tina. So there's a big responsibility um, when I step into that role as well to bring the fire, honestly, um, whether that's acting or vocally. And so it's really exciting. And that is her energy, bringing the fire, nothing less. Paris, thank you so much for joining us. I can't wait to see this show. We will welcome you warmly to Des Moines.